All right. So before I show you my hideous TIG welds, let me go dunk this thing in a pool full of what? Nope, dog, dog. Scripts. Okay, so we're gonna go and uh, do this, but you know, I probably could have turned the amperage down honestly because I had some gaps and I got a hideous holes in them hole. Properly done TIG weld. Uh, let's see where some of the good ones are. That's a okay one. The ones on the, this one's probably the best one right there. But anyways, we're gonna uh, go check the bit. Drop down my hot strips. We're gonna go check the fit up. Let's see how much gas I have left. I don't. I still have quite a bit, but. We're going to check the fit, and I'm actually going to probably grind off a spot on one of these so I can weld it, but we're going to check the fit, and oh, sh oh. I did totally not think about that. Hmm. Well, we got at least a good tie. Least good three quarter to half to three quarters of an inch gap between this and that. So uh, looks like I'm making some uh, some brackets here. Let's go. We all right. So here we go. I resharpened my tungsten. We're gonna tack up the one bracket. I found it only needs one. It's gonna be offset just a little bit. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to move the camera just a little. There's my 116th wire, and I actually have it clamped down uh, pretty well. I'm actually going to do this quickly. I'm going to Take another clamp. Alrighty. Let us hope this goes well. Let's tack it. Well, let me use the flex head feature on this torch as well. Whoop. Alright, so I think I have it um, pretty well tacked. I'm going to weld it out now, and then I'm going to weld out the rest of it. But I don't want it to warp too much, so I'm going to keep it clamped.
So I got decent penetration. And the welds not at this is the best looking weld on the project. I ground down all my crappy welds. So let's so we're gonna keep that clamped. I'm gonna undo this. Clamp right there. Gonna flip it. And I got a couple of other welds. And I'm gonna do the weld on the opposite side so that to keep it from warping too much. And uh, what I think I'm gonna do is. have some filler ready, but, uh, here, let me, uh, zoom out, actually, so you can see what the heck is going on. I know you can't see really well, I need to invest in better shock lighting, but, uh, here we go. This cart build has not been going the way I wanted it to so far, so hopefully this will bring me up the stroke of luck. Turn my gas on! Ladies and gentlemen, that is what happens when you forget to turn on the gas on a TIG welder. Any type. Mostly scratch start though. Not a half bad edge weld, considering I welded over some. Ooh, a little porosity there, but. Uh. Okay, now this should be clamped down enough for me to weld out this area. Budge! Hope you guys can see what's going on. I think you guys can. So, uh. Let's see, let's. Do this, I'm actually gonna bring over my nice shop stool. Tried to make a video on that. This is before I have the camera I am currently using. I'm gonna prop my leg up, prop me here, and I'm ready to go. Okay, that's the best looking. Whoop! I did not mean to do that, but that is by far the best looking weld on this project. Oh, shit. There and weld there. I'm just doing this just for soundness, even though it's only. Y'all saw that, right? Alright, well, what I'm gonna do. To solve this, I'm going Whoop, I didn't want to do that, I'm just doing This is where a helper Well, let's brush the area trying to make these welds the best I can. Now this is a lap weld so I probably do not need to um, add any filler but I'll have it ready just in case.
Okay. So the only thing left to do is to uh, is to weld this to the cart, and that'll be the end of part one. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Here we go. Tack in this to the frame. I've turned the welder down to between 65 and the 50 amp mark. I have no idea what that is, but uh, we're going to tack on this side, then I'm going to move to the other side, and we're going to tack again. So let's go. It's like I can try to turn it down a little more because I just burnt through a little of it past 50. Apparently this tubing is thin. It's kind of what I was afraid of, honestly. I heard a poop thing that it just decided it was... I can actually probably remove this in a moment. Ew, I'm wasting gas here. Hopefully this turns out alright, but... Okay. It is uh, tacked in place. I'm going to weld out both sides of it. And then we're going to put the welder on it. And uh, just strap it down. So I'm going to weld out this side first. I'm going to turn it up to 50 for welding. And uh, we're going to weld out this side first, because I'm over here. I'm going to use a 1 16th diameter rod, just because it gives me a little more feel and control. I am favoring the arc on the thicker piece. Look. <laughs> decided to, the paint decided to catch on fire. Oh, huh, well that is welded on there pretty good. Not my prettiest welds. But, uh, now we're gonna come along and do this. Woo! That powder coat stinks. Woo! -wee. That is one smelly coat of paint. Don't burn it. Apparently, does not smell good. Okay, well, I suppose the only thing to do is to welder it out. Here we go. Part one. In part two, we're going to add on all the hangers for the for everything, and uh, we'll be good to go. But this uh, 
shell seems pretty good. It's kind of unbalanced right now, but uh, once I get the argon bottle on there, it's not going to be that big a deal. So, please tell me if you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you can. And uh, especially leave a like for Fail City. Or, uh, they, I just screwed up so much on this project, and it's mostly my fault. But, uh, you know, I'm also going to be posting this on the Weld.com forum under my username, Sub350. So if you want to check it out there, people there can uh, look at it. So if you're watching this and you're from Weld.com, please, on the forum page, tell me what I have, if anything I did wrong, and what it was that I did wrong. And, um, yeah, that would be great. Constructive criticism only, please. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, comment, like, subscribe, and, uh, hey, it looks kind of cool. Offset, I might put a little something right there to, um, to, uh, you know, keep some stuff. I might put some hangers right there or something, you know, or... I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, like, subscribe, whatever you can. As always, subject to 50. Signing off, guys. See you all in the next video. Goodbye!